we are once again looking at Ethereum Classic on the daily time frame right now. So from last time we were talking, we did have this like symmetrical triangle formation, whatever. If you were to get it to the downside, that pretty much got you back down to the low. But what do you know? We ended up breaking it towards the upside because the symmetrical triangle is a bilateral pattern, meaning it can go in either direction, which, by the way, if you guys do gain any value out of this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, sub, all that fun stuff helps channel grow. Very much appreciated. Anyway, getting back to it. So <clears throat> if we do zoom out here, you do have like this wedge triangle, whatever you want to necessarily call it. Technically, you did break out of it. Now, what I do want to just mention first, or you know what, if you are unaware or new to the channel, what we've been talking about here is basically that we do think that ETC is going to be breaking past $45 relatively soon, basically taking out this high that we set back in August of 2022. As for that would more or less confirm our thesis as that is the bottom and we are forming more or less bullish market structure, making this low here, coming up, making this high, making a higher low. And then once we break above that $45 mark or that previous high, whatever you want to necessarily call it, that will confirm that you do have that bullish market structure. Now, however, what I do want to point out in, I guess, the medium or like shorter time frame is this right here, this zone that we had marked, this is going to be a big level to break back above. Now, should we end up breaking back above it? I do think that we'll be taking out the high at $32 that we set back here in January. It, now, if we do end up getting a reject, like harsh, harsh rejection here, you could be looking to come back down and make some type of a higher low. So in the sense like that, otherwise, you look like this would still have a corrective move down and then you get the move back on up. As for the major level to maintain, like overall major level to maintain, is really gonna be down here at one of these two. Basically, if you wanna be more conservative or more aggressive, whatever, that's at about $18.37. And yeah, that's really gonna be about it for the video. So overall, price targets that we are looking for are a open enclosure on the very least a four hour time frame above 27.85 to or really 28.24 our range or supply range is 27.85 to 28.24 so we want to see open enclosure above 28.24 uh from there we do think that you should end up moving up higher next like target zone is going to be between about 33.27 to 34.75 um potentially you do go flying past there uh, and then other than that like i said if this is a corrective move overall level that I, I guess you could look for is to maintain this low down here which is at 21 dollars 70 cents or if you really wanted to you could say 22.91 regardless your demand zone should you end up coming back on down and not breaking this low would be between about 30 or no not 30 uh 23.91 to 23.40 so other than that, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And I think ETC getting ready to go vroom vroom. Either way, if you gain any value out of the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, sub. Once again, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.